Ever wake up after a night out, your head pounding like a drum, your stomach doing somersaults, and wondered why you feel like a train hit you? Welcome to the mysterious world of hangovers. These unpleasant after-effects of a night of indulgence have intrigued and frustrated us for centuries. They're an unfortunate cocktail of symptoms that leave us questioning our life choices. But what's the real culprit here? Is it the alcohol or something more? So why does this happen? Let's dive into the science behind hangovers. Alcohol, the main culprit, is a diuretic. It makes you pee, a lot. Now that might seem like a minor detail, a small price to pay for a night of fun, right? But here's the thing, when alcohol sends you on those frequent bathroom breaks, it's not just the drink you're losing, you're also flushing out vital electrolytes and water, leaving your body in a state of dehydration. Dehydration is more than just feeling thirsty, it's a physical state that affects your whole body. It can make you feel dizzy, lightheaded, and can even cause headaches. Think about those mornings after a night out when you wake up with a pounding head and a mouth that feels like a desert. That's dehydration at work. But dehydration isn't the only side effect of alcohol consumption. You see, alcohol is an irritant, particularly to your stomach. It stimulates the production of stomach acid while simultaneously slowing down the rate at which your stomach empties itself. This can lead to nausea and vomiting, which, let's face it, is never a good end to a night out. In the midst of all this, alcohol also triggers an inflammatory response from your immune system. This can lead to a lack of concentration, memory problems, and a decreased appetite, making you feel even worse. So, if alcohol is causing all this havoc, why do we still crave that second, third, or fourth drink? Alcohol does a sneaky thing. It releases dopamine in your brain, which makes you feel good, at least for a while. Dopamine, often called the feel-good neurotransmitter, is part of the brain's reward system. It's the same chemical that gets released when we eat our favorite food or win a prize. This dopamine surge is what gives alcohol its pleasurable effects, making us feel relaxed, happy, and sociable. But here's the kicker. The brain, in its infinite wisdom, strives to maintain balance. So when it detects a rush of dopamine, it reacts by releasing other chemicals to counteract the high. One of these chemicals is dynorphin, a neurotransmitter that can cause feelings of anxiety and depression. Now let's connect the dots. You drink, you feel amazing, then you stop drinking. But your brain is still awash with dynorphin. This can result in a low mood, anxiety, and restlessness, which are common symptoms of a hangover. Moreover, dynorphin is not the only culprit. Alcohol also triggers the release of stress hormones and inflammatory agents, which can further exacerbate hangover symptoms. It's a cruel trick, isn't it? The very thing that makes us feel good in the moment can make us feel terrible the next day. So to recap, so, Hangovers are a result of several factors, dehydration, stomach irritation, and a chemical balancing act in the brain. Let's break it down a bit. First, we have dehydration. Alcohol is a diuretic, which means it makes you pee more. As you lose more fluid than you take in, you become dehydrated, leading to those classic hangover symptoms like a dry mouth, thirst, and a pounding headache. Next up, stomach irritation. Alcohol increases the production of stomach acid and slows down the rate at which your stomach empties. This combo can result in nausea, vomiting, and a general feeling of being unwell. Now, let's talk about the brain. Alcohol messes with your brain's chemical balance, causing it to produce a substance called glutamate. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter that excites the brain. When you stop drinking, your brain is still producing extra glutamate, and that can lead to feelings of anxiety and restlessness. On top of all this, alcohol disrupts your sleep which can leave you feeling groggy and fatigued the next day. So there you have it. Hangovers are the result of a complex interplay between dehydration, stomach irritation, and a chemical balancing act in the brain. Now, while understanding the causes won't necessarily make your next hangover any less painful, it might just make you think twice before having that extra drink. Remember, moderation is key. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.